Hi and welcome back. I am Steph Lyons here today with your core series and we are going to engage your abs for about 10 minutes. Each move today you're going to perform for 40 seconds. I'm going to guide you all the way through the workout. So go ahead, roll out your mat and let's get our core working. Hi and welcome. Like I said, today we are engaging our abs. Each move, we're performing for 40 seconds. There is no rest until the end. Of course, if you need a break, you take one. We're setting up on our mat. That's all you need today. We're going to start laying down face up. So here we go. You've got 10 seconds on the clock till we get started. We're going to lay down face up. We're starting with a tabletop crunch. Legs in the tabletop, hands behind the head. In three, two, and one. Let's go. Legs in tabletop. Crunch it up. Big exhale. Then we want to try to make sure our low back is rooted to the ground. We don't want a big arch in the low back. Tuck your hips, push low back down. Yes, exhale as you crunch. Pull your belly back down to your spine. Tighten up through your core every time you crunch up. We got 12 seconds right here. Good. We're going legs to the sky, toe touches. In three, two, and one legs up, toe touches. Fingertips reach up towards your toes. Keep your feet stacked directly over your hips. Big exhale as you reach. Yes. We go 15 seconds left. We're gonna brace our upper body, drive the heels to the sky for hip raises. Up next, five seconds here. In three, two, and one. Brace your upper body, drive your heels up to the sky. So we're focusing on the lower abdominal region. I don't want a big sweep. We're not pulling the feet over the face. We're trying to keep the heels stacked right over your hips. Yes. Beautifully done. You got leg lifts in 15 seconds. We're just going to lower and lift the legs. Remember here, we want to try to keep the low back rooted to the ground. We're turning this into leg lifts in three, two, and one. From here, we're going to lower, exhale, and lift. If your low back pops up off the ground, try not to drop your legs down so low. Keep your low back rooted. If you have any issues low back, give yourself some support. Plant your hands right at the low back region. Yes, shoulders are down, core is tight. We've got 15 seconds right here. Hands will go behind the head. We're going to go big scissor kicks. Good, here we go. We're crunching up, hands behind the head for scissor kicks in three, two, one. Crunch up, hands behind the head. Big one, kicks. And kick, kick, and kick. Again, keep low back rooted to the ground. Pull your belly button down into your spine. Take your break, you've got 15 seconds right here. We're gonna roll up onto our tailbone. We've got supported knee tucks. I'm starting to feel the burn. Here we go, five seconds. We roll it up in three, two, and one. We're rolling up, hands right by your hips. Open up, pull knees to chest. Oh, I'm feeling the burn. How about you? Where are you at with this guy?
side after this for a side crunch. You will stay balancing on your hip bone or your butt cheek. <sighs> 12 seconds. Here we go in three, two, and one. We're gonna roll to one side. Support yourself. One hand behind the head, the other one bracing you. Side crunch. Starting to work into a release right here.
the end, finish it. Yes, you can, all the way. Here we go, last five, four, three, two, and one. Knees to your chest. You are done today. This is a perfect workout to maybe warm up or finish your other workouts with. You guys, great job. I'm so proud of you. I hope your core feels so good today. And until tomorrow, be good, be safe, and I will see you soon.